Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a new account on your chart of accounts, as well as how to make sub accounts. So there's two ways to go about this. Well, there's probably more than two ways, but I'm going to show you two different ways. The first is that we go to our chart of accounts. I'm going to start by going to the gear in the upper right hand corner. On the left hand side under the header of your company, I'm going to select chart of accounts. In the upper right hand corner, I'm going to click on the green new, and then it's going to present me with a bunch of options for creating a new account. If I choose expenses, it'll say save account under. And it can say where to save the account under. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to save an account under the header of advertising and promotion. It's going to have a tax form. It, it, QuickBooks picks whatever it picks. Um, personally, I don't change it. it it's not, it doesn't matter. Um, account name. I'm just going to call it demo one because I just want to demonstrate something for you. What I'd like to point out for you now is when you kind of preview your profit and loss report at the bottom of the screen, you can see the header expenses, the header advertising and promotion, and underneath that, the account name of demo one. By doing this, I am automatically making a sub account under the header of advertising and promotion. If that was not my intention, if I didn't want a sub account, I just need to change the top where it says save account under. Instead of selecting advertising and promotion, I need to select expenses. By selecting expenses, it makes it no longer a sub account. But I want to make a sub account because I want to show you how to do this. Okay, so I've made a sub account. I'm going to click save. That's all you need to do. I want to show you something different because sometimes the screen looks different and I think that's kind of overwhelming to a new person. So I'm just going to go over to my downloaded banking. You don't need to do this. I just needed to come here so that I could show you something. So I'm going to click on one of my downloaded transactions. I'm going to click on the category and then I'm going to select add new account. All of this just so that I can show you the other layout for the chart of accounts. So now I'm adding a new account to my chart of accounts and it doesn't look at all like the thing we were just looking at. When you're adding a new account to your chart of accounts, if you see this view instead of the other view, no big deal. If you want to add an expense account, the account type by default, in my case, it says bank. I just need to scroll down until I get to expenses. The name, the first one was demo one. So this will be called demo two. I want to make it a sub account so that I can show you how, how to make a sub account. I'm going to select the box that says is sub account. And then it says enter the parent account name. And then I'm going to say, well, the parent account is advertising. I don't have any sort of preview to tell me what it's going to look like when I get done. I just have to trust that I'm doing it correctly. In this case, the detail type defaults to advertising and promotional. I don't think that's what it picked a moment ago for the other demo. Again, I don't care. I'm just going to select save and close. I'm going to go back to my chart of accounts just so you can see both of those showing up under advertising. So I've scrolled down to advertising and promotion and I have my sub account demo one and my sub account demo two. If I realize that I have a sub account, but I'd rather not have a sub account, I can click the drop down to the right of the account name. I can select edit and then I can say save account under and just save it under expenses rather than under advertising and promotion. I hope this video has been helpful. If there's anything my team or I can do for you, please don't hesitate to let us know. We offer bookkeeping, training, as well as self-paced QuickBooks courses. Thank you so much.